I started, I'm using the Saharan palette by Juvie's Place. The colors that I am using are this black, this brown, this orange, and this white gold right here, and this green shimmery color. And those are the only colors from this palette that I am using. And now I'm taking my Morphe M443 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a black line. Now I'm gonna take that same black and I'm just gonna fill in the corners of my eye. The inner and the outer corner. And I'm just packing that color on. Okay, now I'm gonna jump into that orange shade. And I'm gonna use that to kind of blend out that black. Okay, yeah, so on top of that, I'm gonna go into that brown shade and put it right on top of that orange. Okay, y'all, so I had to start a voiceover. I have a house full of girls right now and they are just super, super loud. So yeah, voiceover it is. Okay, so now I'm going in with the P. Louise base. I believe it is the 0.5 base. I'm using that to cut my crease for this halo eye. Once I fill that all in, I'm gonna go back with that brush that I used for the black eyeshadow, and I'm gonna just smooth out the edges of that base that I put down, and then we're gonna jump right over to that green shimmery color from the Juvia's palette. I'm gonna add that to both sides and blend it in with the black so that there's a smooth transition. And then I'm gonna grab that white shimmery color and pop that right in the middle and make sure I blend that really good with that green shimmery color. You wanna make sure that you are going in with all three of those brushes and just making sure that all those colors are blended really well. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my liner and I'm just gonna do a nice thick wing and then I'm gonna prep my eyelashes so that I can add my falsies on. Okay, so we got those lashes added. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and then start the application of my foundation. I'm using my Real Techniques face brush and I'm just taking that foundation, I'm just dabbing it all over my face. So next I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm just gonna add that to all my areas that I want highlighted. I'm gonna let it dry down for about 45 to about 60 seconds. And then once it's dried down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and begin to blend it out. I'm blending with my Real Techniques setting brush. And I am just pushing that product into the skin, making sure that it is blended flawlessly. Now I'm going to take um, just a shade lighter than the concealer I first used, and I'm just gonna add that right in the corner of my eyes. This is gonna help make my under eyes look a little more lifted and it's also gonna give me a brighter under eye. So now I'm setting my face, going back all over all the areas that I added concealer and I'm just doing a powder contour around my cheekbones and around my forehead and of course my nose. I'm gonna add some blush right on top of that contour line. I 
I'm applying black eyeliner to my waterline. I'll back in with that M443 brush. I'm gonna use that to add some black eyeshadow right underneath my waterline. And then I'm gonna take that orange shadow and blend it out right underneath the black eyeshadow. I'm gonna add some mascara, spray and set my face, add a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna line my lips with the Crayon Cases color pencil in the shade Coffee. And I'm gonna add a pink gloss and a nude gloss on top of that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you go ahead and do so. Don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you are notified first when I post new videos. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, head over there and do so at simply.shine. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video.